user table. And then it's going to get the title and the content and fill in the rest of the data. So let's save this and take a look at, um, at our new blog. And as you see, we have Klopop wrote Happy Tacos and it has the content there and some content here and so on. So if I wanted to um, change something where instead, um, because currently it's putting the, uh, the earliest post written at the top and blogs usually have the latest post written at the top and then it goes down through the pages. So I'm going to change this from ascending to descending. That's D-E-S-C in terms of SQL. So now it should be ordering it um, in the way like that. So, but I also want to uh, put in the date because I did put in a date field into my uh, into my rows here. So I want to utilize that. Well, I'm just going to grab um, this date function that has the format like the following up here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change something here after this span um, at uh, and then I'm going to go back into PHP here and I'm going to echo out the date but I'm going to set the timestamp is an integer of the row date so now I have a date and it should look like this as you see um, these two dates are different and if I go ahead and I write another post in here uh, with that again title uh, let's just say um, jalopies go to town on Sundays I don't know if that's spelled right but I don't really care either and I'm just going to type in happy go lucky and I'm going to go ahead and get some lorem ipsum. Um, stuff uh, just to put in the content there. This is pretty much Latin that's used just to fill up the page so you can mainly look at the design instead of the uh, well instead of um, the words themselves. So I'm going to do this right here. Click on go. Now I have this big fancy post in there, and now, as you see, I have this under uh, this lowercase thing at the at the first part, because um, it is in fact lowercase in the post. Um, I can actually make CSS to first capitalize that, but I'm not going to focus on that right now. So as you see, I have three posts here, of which there are different dates for. Each of them is um, at their own time, and each of them are unique. And as it's it's just a basic way to put forward the content from a database. And this was purely just integrating a pre-made theme with a PHP uh, part that's put in between. Now, this uh, put in the uh, HTML and then kind of put uh, PHP tags everywhere in between. I do not suggest uh, doing that in the real world, and I do not do that in my real projects. But I'm only using this right now so I can make sure that you understand how I am putting and integrating the page content HTML with the PHP. So now that I have all this. Um, blog stuff put in. As you see, it ha you can actually focus on a lot of stuff, like how I have the first line here italicized and bigger than the rest of the post. I have the first letter going big. I mean, there's all sorts of things that are being integrated here. There is CSS, XHTML, PHP, and MySQL. And this is um, what is best to learn all of them, or at least HTML and PHP along with MySQL. For if you do not, you can uh, run into some difficulty as you might need some help uh, just to help, you know, display what you want to get out to the world. 
So, uh, please pay attention to both the tutorials that I'm making on MySQL, but also please focus on your own time on HTML and CSS so that you can put out um, content that does look good. I mean, I don't think this looks professional or anything, but I think it looks styled enough to prove a point. And um, going back to my tutorials, I plan to be releasing several tutorials in a row starting now, um, day by day hopefully. And they will be focusing on certain things like, you know, this blog. But uh, just another point of reference, you can um, actually go ahead and subscribe to a uh, newsletter that will send out a uh, an email to you every single time that I post a new entry on my blog, which will usually have a video, content, a tutorial, and the source codes. And you can also subscribe to me on YouTube, and feel free to donate to me. Uh, my website is at clopop321.com slash php hyphen tutorials, or you can just go to clopop321.com and click on the big section on the top that says go to here to my tutorial section. And um, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment to me. I have several comments here uh, where somebody was having a little bit of a problem. Um, but um, that's uh, something that I really love, and I always will answer them. As you see here, I have several replies that are also in-depth to help clearing up what people have to ask. And um, I also respond on YouTube, so feel free to also comment on my videos there. But I prefer that you comment here so that I can appropriately answer your questions where the sources are immediately above your questions that you're posting. And this is Club 521, signing off.